Okay, I have a case here. This is the iPhone 11 Pro. So the owner sent all the way from Bulgaria and he just needs the data recovery from the device. So he said the problem is after the phone suffer a heavy impact, the phone become fully dead. So the first step is we're gonna use the power supply to check the response. Slowly inject the voltage. So far nothing sharp. I 3.8 now. I'm going to press the power button to see what's the response, why it cannot be powered. Well, I can see there's a blink. It's weird. He just blink a little and then he blink twice. Every time I press it, twice he blink. Okay, I keep holding it. See what? What is it? Uh huh. There's a full shot. If I keep holding the button, it is shot like this way the big current is leaking and now I'm going to do a visual inspection what happened eh? I can say it is a very bad news because I see there's a crack line between the NAND eh? in middle of the NAND this is the crack line so I believe the shot is come from the NAND, the hard disk. I can see the crack line here. See? Okay. Usually, I can say if the NAND flash is cracked into the half, there's no way to recover the data anymore. We have to verify is it the shot coming from the NAND. Okay, now we are looking at the board with a thermal camera. Let's inject the voltage and then I'm going to press the power button and see where is the heat coming from. Turn it on. Yep. As you can see the heat is slowly come from meter and the side of the NAND. So, yep. Come from the hard disk is dead. I can only replace the nun, but everything will be gone. So I have to tell the owner. Hi everyone, I'm Lim. So as you can see, not every job of data recovery is that lucky. If you are the end user, you're watching this, please take care of your iPhone, okay? Sometimes it might be that unlucky, only the hard disk get the damage, okay? not other things. Once the hard disk is damaged, then we have no way to recover the data. You know, trust me of this, even you send this hard disk to an expensive data recovery sender, they still cannot recover from it. If you wonder why is that, it is because this kind of hard disk is NAND flash. It is not mechanical. Okay, inside, he has many, many layers of the circuit and the chip. If he crack in the middle, so far there's no way to reconnect all of them. It is beyond our human hand can do. And then the next advice is you need to discuss with your technician before the repair. You should ask him after he told you the price of the repair. It is include everything on the motherboard or just that part. You should want to avoid, let's say after he replaced the hard disk and it still has other problem. Maybe the sound is not producing or maybe it doesn't have a signal. So this is why I suggest you, you ask the range of the price first. Okay, how much is the maximum to repair this device? They will check it for you. If they charge you a little fee, a small fee for diagnosis, it is okay. Usually this kind of case is not only the motherboard. Okay, the LCD is damaged, the back glass, or maybe the face ID or the camera, they are affected. So he need to check every of them. In my shop, usually the first step is we put our motherboard inside your phone and to test every features, every function. And then we will write down what's the things that need to be replaced. Then the motherboard is another price. But the price I told you is not going to top up anymore. Okay? It's a fixed price. So you might notice, hey, you say just the hard disk is damaged. So why it is so expensive compared what I get from the online 
I can get the part myself and then I pass it to you, you install for me. We don't do things like that. Not only we cannot cover the warranty because that stuff not belong to us and even it have a problem, the seller can say maybe our installation is the problem. Hey, we can play the blaming game. We should want to avoid that. It is because we need to cover anything happen after. Let's say after we install a new hard disk, it works. And we found, oh, another IC is cracked. Okay, another part is broken. We don't want you to top up the price. Eh? That's why we need to do a full repair. The cost repair we quote you is cover everything. Except for the screen and other. There's that one we already checked in the first place. So don't be freaked out or don't be surprised if some of the technicians that quote you a little expensive repair for the motherboard because they need to cover it. Maybe a few weeks later, you found a new problem, right? Also, you need to ask him, is it refundable if some of the thing cannot be repaired? Or maybe after a few weeks, the phone become totally dead and I pass to you, you say it cannot be repaired. Is it refundable? You need to ask him this. How long is the warranty? This is the basic question. So that's all for the end user advices. And the last part is to my students only from the online course. In this kind of case, heavy impact device. If a phone, he has a crack on the NAND, make sure you don't use the drilling machine to remove the NAND. I know some of the students that do have a drilling machine to drill the NAND off. It seems like really safe, right? But this case, it will not be safe if you use the drilling machine. And calling my experience, I repaired this kind of case at least about 20 devices. I have seen many of them, if they use drilling machine to drill the phone, drill the hard disk off, it end up with a CPU problem or maybe the layer. So you should want to avoid that. Why he create more problem is because a heavy impact device, he drop it that hard. Some of the pin, especially from the CPU, they are very fragile. If you give it more vibration, the connection pin between the board and the CPU, hey, the pins might drop off. Even you reboard the CPU, you will find there's a lot of packs that will be missing. So you should want to avoid to drill the board. Just use the hot air. Use the same technique as I taught you in the semester two. It will be safe. You know, I never fail of replacing the hard disk. Hey. Of course, after you remove the hard disk, the first thing you test is the current response and see whether it still can detect from the PC DFU mode. If it doesn't, then you continue to dismantle the layer, you check the CPU, okay, check the other things based on the power supply response. So I guess that's it for the tips and I see you on the next video. Bye.